Hi everyone, welcome to our Luxury Home Channel. My name is Mike, I'm a broker associate and co-owner at Preferred Real Estate Brokers. Today we're in Palm Beach Gardens, which is south of Daytona, north of Miami on the east coast of Florida. We're gonna show you this model home behind us by Coulter in a community called Olton, and it is a lifestyle community, has lots of things to do for the family, including tennis courts, pickleball courts, basketball courts, volleyball courts, a resort style pool, everything that you'll need for a really nice community lifestyle. So the home behind me is a three bedroom, three full bath, one half bath home with 2,823 square feet of living and the base price at time of filming, which is February of 2023, is gonna be $1,027,990. Now is the base price, does not include loft premiums or upgrades, so please keep that in mind. There's tons of upgrades inside. And if you are looking to purchase anywhere in Florida or anywhere in the nation, make sure you give me a call at 407-487-3030. Make sure I get you and send you an updated list of all the pricing and all the listings in the area. So let's talk a little bit about the outside of the home. Home. The outside is actually the front of the home and in the back is the two car oversized garage. So the front of the home is very modern style as far as the look, modern contemporary. We walk up into a front uh, patio area and above us is a balcony. We have a sitting area and of course the picture windows, a door in front of us. And of course we have all this tile work going up as well that look really nice. So let's go ahead and go inside and check out this home. So welcome into this home. So as I walk in, the first thing that I notice are these beautiful white porcelain tiles that go throughout the first floor of the home. Over to my left is the dining room. To my right is the office. So let's go ahead and go to the right and show you the office first. So as I come in here, we see that we have the office set up, picture windows looking out to the front, also to the front uh, patio and also the side yard. And the one thing that probably stands out the most is I look up on the ceiling and see that it's leveled down a few levels with the gray paint, which contrasts really good with the white, really cool interior design feature there. We have a feature wall with shelving on my right. And then we have the accent wall with some mirror that has antique look to it. It's all framed with white woodworking going all the way around the TV. So it's pretty neat. So as I come over to the other side, let me go ahead and show you the dining room. So as I come over to the dining room, we do have seating for five people. And then also on this room, I have to look up to the ceiling to see the really cool feature, which is a floating ceiling in a circle shape with a chandelier coming down from the center. Now, Haley, who is my daughter and also filming me today, is standing by the front door, so you get a good view of what you'll see when you come into the home. The one thing that you probably know is right away is the wine cellar with this really frame, frameless glass going all the way around it, all your wines, light fixtures coming out to shine with your display, and even has a beverage refrigerator in there as well. But you can see through the stairs and the family room and all the way into the courtyard, which does have a pool. So come ahead and follow me this direction. We'll go to the right and go into the half bath. Now we do have a linen closet. The interior designers even put some cool little designs in there as well, believe it or not. And then we walk into the half bath. So as we come to this half bath, we have our pedestal sink and of course a beautiful tile work going from floor to ceiling with some molding above it. Really nice mirror and light fixture. And then we have the same thing on this side with the toilet with that same tile work going from floor to ceiling. So let's go ahead and take you to the main living area of this home. So follow me this direction and we're gonna go ahead and show you the kitchen first. So as I come into the kitchen, the f that you'll notice is the center island. This beautiful, beautiful countertop, which with the waterfall edges that go all the way down to the floor. We have three pendant lights above us that are hanging on a floating ceiling as well. And of course, seating for four around the center island. Over to the right, we do have a pantry, and then we have our GE Profile refrigerator freezer combo. And it goes into the built-in oven as well. It's also GE Profile. The cabinets are in glossy white. And then if I look up, the uh, top cabinets are in a stainless steel with the glass front, LED lights in there, so you can put all your favorite decor up on that top level as well. As we continue around, we have plenty of cabinet areas and drawers going all the way around. Of course, everything is soft closed. We have a beautiful backsplash going throughout. We have a four burner gas stove top, microwave above it. And then if I look on the other side, we do have our dishwasher. The cabinets on this side are grays, but in like a wood grain gray, which contrasts really well with the whites on the other side. And of course we have our sink and faucet and it continues to go through into our breakfast nook. Breakfast nook set up for six people to sit around. Nice little light fixture above it. And then we continue on into the family room. So the family room has a sliding glass door going out to the outdoor eating area that we'll show you in just a minute. And of course we have a window on either side of the TV and this really neat light fixture is coming down from the center of the ceiling. So let's go ahead and go outside and show you the courtyard. This is a really neat community with courtyard living. They have regular homes as well. 
And we have another one channel called the York that we did here. That was a model home that was for sale. So as we come through here, uh, let's go ahead and talk to you about the covered living area first. We have a couple sitting areas here where you can sit and watch people enjoy the pool. And then we continue down, we have our outdoor dining area set up for six people to sit around and enjoy a barbecue because you have the barbecue right next to it, including a refrigerator, a nice beautiful countertops, and then the backsplash going around so you can sit here, enjoy a July 4th barbecues and cook up some hamburgers and hot dogs and eat it right here. And then right next to it, of course, is the pool. So a good sized pool, especially for these courtyard homes. Plenty of space here, you can do some laps back and forth. Has a little, little infinity edge that goes off and it's sort of paved all the way around the pool. And we're gonna go ahead and go all the way around because I wanna show you what's behind these two doors. So we have two doors. This one here tells you it's to the garage and casita. Um, but the other one doesn't tell you what it is and it's a half bathroom. So I wanna show you that. So as I follow the uh, pathway, what you'll notice is the pathway continues onto this, the house. Now, if I continue this way and go down this pathway, there is a gate and goes to the entry to the two car garage where you'll bring your cars in. So to come this direction, I'm gonna go ahead and open this door and make sure Haley does not fall in the pool today. As we come through, we'll go up here. We have the ceramic tile floors, pedestal sink, of course, we have a mirror, light fixture, and toilet, so everything you need here. Uh, if you're out here enjoying the barbecue and swimming, that you have that really close by. So follow me in this direction. If you haven't done already, make sure you like and subscribe to our videos if you like in luxury homes throughout Florida. We also travel outside of Florida. Uh, we definitely appreciate your support and everyone who makes the comments as well. We try to get to them all eventually. So, okay, let's go ahead and go through this door. As so I come through here, we have the ceramic tile floors. This goes into a two car garage. Right now they have it set up as an office, so we were not gonna be able to go in there. But then as we go, we have some stairs going up to that bonus casita area. So let's go ahead and check out what's up there. All right, so here we are in the area above the garage. And this is one of the favorite areas that Haley's had in all the homes that we've seen. And you'll see why in just a second. So we have the ceramic tile floors going throughout, but this is a whole complete home in a little tiny package. And that's what Haley really liked. So as we come up here, we have our dining area set up for four people to sit around, enjoy dining area. We have an office and then we have our family room. So you have three rooms right here. And then right next to it, we have the kitchen. So pretty much four rooms in just this little area. So the kitchen has seating for three, couple pendant lights over it, really beautiful countertops. Of course, as I come in, we have a sink, we have our range, microwave, refrigerator, and of course, a beautiful backsplash going all the way around. We even have a spoon that comes along with the kitchen as well. So as we go through this door, we go into the bedroom. So you have your own bedroom suite as well. Above the garage this is really neat. We have a queen size bed, a couple end tables. They painted the wall red, a couple of light fixtures that come from the ceiling. You like those light fixtures too, that come from the ceilings too. Uh, the only thing that we probably would change if it was Haley's room would be increasing the size of the closet a little bit because the closet is right here. And then right to the right is gonna be the full bathroom. So as I come through the full bathroom, we have the shower on my right, this frameless shower, beautiful hexagon tile on the floor. And of course the tiles go up with a decorative tile midway up the shower as well. And then we have a linen closet and of course the cabinets and like a gray color, solid surface countertop, sink, mirror that's framed in the same color as the cabinets, light fixture and toilet. So everything you need to live just right here above the garage. So let's go ahead and go back into the main home. All right, so let's go ahead and head over to the stairs and show you the second floor of this home. Now, if you're a listing agent or a builder or an individual who has a luxury home that you wanna feature on this channel that you're trying to sell, give me a call at 407-487-3030. I'll be more than happy to talk to you and see if we can come and film your home and share it with our audience. So let's go ahead and go up the stairs. Now, as I come up the stairs, we have that white porcelain tile. Of course, we have the engineered hardwood flooring going up and the metal railing. So let's go ahead and go up and check out the second floor. All right, so here we are on the second floor of this home. We have engineered hardwood floors throughout the main hallways and living areas. So the first thing that we see is the loft and we have the built-in shelves, red painted walls behind it where the TV is. Plenty of space here. And of course, above us is a tray ceiling that's bordered with some white wood working as well. And we have this cool light fixture hanging from the center. Now, if we wanted to go and enjoy the Florida weather, all we'd have to do is go through this door and go to the front balcony. So as I open this up, we step down, we have a ceramic tile on the floor, a couple of little sitting areas here, but the best part is looking at all the tropical landscape and of course the beautiful Florida blue skies that are behind us as well. So as I come back through, let's go ahead and show you the bedrooms. To my right is gonna be bedroom number two. So we go from the engineer hardwood floor to the really plush carpet. We have a bed, a couple end tables. This one has a window looking out the side and of course a window looking out to the front of the home. Plenty of closet space and then we go to the right into its own bathroom. We have gray porcelain tiles on the floor. 
we do have a towel closet. And then right next to that, we do have, of course, our cabinet in like a dark brown black color and of course a beautiful countertop sink faucet and then the mirror that's framed in the same color as the cabinets we have our toilet and then of course the frameless shower with hexagon tiles on the ground and then the gray tiles going all the way up to the ceiling with this decorative tile going vertically in three areas as well by the shower head and also by the control panel so let's go ahead and show you the next bedroom which is bedroom three which is just right around the corner so we follow me down this hallway and go to my right, and this will be bedroom three. We go back into that same plush carpet. Uh, they have this into like a little sitting room area as well. They have uh, woodworking going across, including a little shelf on the top for some decorative items if you want to do that. And we have wallpaper throughout the whole thing. And of course, a rail going all the way around this ceiling. Beautiful light fixture above me. We have a closet over to my left. And then this one also has its own bathroom, which all the bedrooms do. Um, as we come through here, we do have tile floors and we definitely have the dark brown uh, cabinets, countertops, mirror that's framed as well, light fixture. This one does have a tub with the white porcelain tile going all the way up to the ceiling with a beautiful decorative tile going vertically as well. So next step would be the laundry room and then the primary bedroom suite. So follow me this direction, we'll go ahead and go right. And as we go left here, this will be the laundry room. So behind this door is the air handler for upstairs. And then we have our washer, we have our dryer. We have a cabinet area with a sink looking out to the side yard. Of course, beautiful countertops as well. Plenty of cabinets and these cabinets also are soft clothes, just like the ones that were in the kitchen. Of course, the backsplash and they have this really neat wallpaper that goes throughout the laundry room as well. Next step, primary bedroom right to my left. So as we enter the primary bedroom, the first thing we have is we have a room to either side, which is a closet. We'll show you the smaller one first. So this is one of two closets, a good size closet here, plenty of drawers, spaces for your shoes and clothes, of course. Now, but if you wanted more space, the one right across the hallway, this one's got probably a little bit over double the space that that one does. You have the drawers, areas for your shoes, places to hang up your clothes and little things for your knickknacks or more shoes. It goes all the way around. Of course, we have the crown molding around it as well. You have an area for your dresses also. And then right next to this is gonna be the actual bedroom. So as I come in here, here's the bedroom. We have a king size bed, a couple end tables on either side, and we have the picture windows looking over onto the courtyard where the pool was. Above us is a tray ceiling with a little bit of woodworking, and of course the light fixture, and they did the wallpaper also in the tray ceiling. So it gives you that contrasting, and also the walls are gray, which contrasts really nice with the white in the tray ceiling. Over to the left is gonna be the full bathroom. So as I walk in here, we have these beautiful white porcelain tiles that we saw downstairs as well. And then to my right is gonna be the water closet, and then we have a tub. Got that beautiful tile around it as well, which contrasts really good with the tile in the shower. The shower is frameless. It does have a little bit of chrome on the top edge, but the sides are frameless. As I open up, we have really small square black tiles on the floor and then this beautiful dark and black and gray tile going all the way up to the ceiling. And then on the other side, we do see we have our cabinets in white, black countertops, couple sinks with the faucets, this huge mirror that's outlined with the white, the same color as the cabinets couple of light fixtures. We even have a window over to the side. So that is that ha this home. So if you are looking to uh, buy or sell any real estate, whether it's residential or commercial, whether it's a starter home or a luxury home, anywhere in Florida, anywhere in the nation, make sure you give us a call. My name is Mike. My phone number is 407-487-3030. I have team members and partners throughout the state of Florida and also throughout the nation that are knowledgeable and experienced to help you with your real estate needs. Thanks for watching and talk to you next time. Bye-bye.